Okay, so let's do a little example with dimensional analysis. We're going to convert 365.0 picometers to feet, and we're given the following conversions to work with, which 1 meter equals 39.4 inches, and 12 inches equals 1 foot. So how do we get started? So what we want to do here is first find what we're going to convert. So I like to start by writing that number down. So we have 365.0 picometers. Okay. So what we're going to do now is think about it. So we are not given the metric conversions. We have to come up with those ourselves. We have to memorize those. And it turns out that 1 meter is equal to 1 times 10 to the 12 picometers. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that conversion factor to get into meters. And the reason why I'm going to do that is that our next conversion factor on our way to feet is 1 meter equals 39.4 inches. So let's go ahead and get into meters. Okay, so I'm going to put 1 times 10 to the 12 picometers on the bottom and 1 meter on the top. Now, why do I put the picometers on the bottom? Well, I need these guys to cancel out. And so I'm using a conversion factor where the number of picometers here, 1 times 10 to the 12th, is equal to 1 meter. So that's the same quantity, but in different units. All right, so now all of our picometers are canceled out, and we are now in meters. So if I were to put this into the calculator, I'd find out that it's 3.65 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. Now, we're not finished yet, of course, because we want to go to feet. So let's just underline that. That's our goal. So now we're in meters, and now we're prepared to use this conversion factor, 1 meter equals 39.4 inches. So let's go ahead and use that conversion factor to get into inches. So I'll set another one up here, okay? And I'm going to put one meter on the bottom because I need these meters to cancel out. And I'm going to put 39.4 inches on the top. So again, just going back, now we have, we were in meters, and now we have used a conversion factor where one meter is equal to 39.4 inches. That's the same quantity the same length in two different units. So now we're in inches. And again, if I were to go ahead and run this, I'd 365.0 divided by 1 times 10 to the 12th multiplied by 39.4, I would end up with 1.438 times 10 to the negative 8 inches. So that's where we are right now. But again, we are not finished. So we still need to get to feet. So we're ready to use our last conversion factor. So we're currently in inches. Now we want to get to feet. So let's do another bracket here. Okay. We're going to set up another conversion factor. Now we're going to have 12 inches being equal to one foot. All right. So if we go back and cancel out our units, inches on top, inches on bottom. So those are canceled out. Now we are in feet. All right, so now we want to do the math here, and I'm going to write it out in gory detail just so that everybody knows what's going on. So what we're going to do, now that we have our dimensional analysis set up, we want to multiply by anything on the top of a fraction. Okay, so for instance, 39.4. Multiply by anything on top, divide by anything on bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So 365.0 divided by 1 times 10 to 12th. Okay, then we're going to multiply it by 39.4 and finally divide by 12, and that's going to give us our answer. So if we plug that into the calculator, we're going to end up with 
one nine eight four times ten to the negative nine feet. Now we have to watch out for sig figs. So how many do we have here? Let's go up and look at our initial quantity, what we started with, and we have 365.0. So remember, because of that decimal point, that O, that zero, is significant. So let's go ahead and count four there. So now we're going to have to have 1.198 times 10 to the negative 9 feet. And that's our final answer.